Welcome to Boat Buyer's Secret Weapon. I am your host, Captain Matt, and today we're talking common problems with center console boats. We've got a lot of great information for you. If you stick with us to the end, probably about eight to 10 minutes, uh, we've got a special gift for you, the Boat Buyer's Secret Weapon Toolkit. So let's jump in to common issues with center consoles. The first one is a center console can have a wet ride in those crosswind conditions. So if you're looking at a center console, you want to go out on somewhat of a windy day maybe um, and see is that bow designed to kind of splash the, the uh, wave spray down um, or is it just going to come right up into your boat? Now here's the thing to consider. Depending on the size of the boat, this one here that you see is probably big enough that you're not going to get too much on most days when you're out on the water. If it's a real windy day, there's really nothing you can do. That crosswind's going to get you wet no matter what boat you have. But some of the smaller uh, center consoles, flats boats, things like that, that crosswind can give you a wet ride and there's really um, not much you can do about it. Uh, some of the designs are going to limit it a little bit, but it's something to consider depending on the, what that wind condition and the direction that you're heading uh, in relation to the wind. Next is comfortable seating. Now, these ladies obviously decided to uh, take the least comfortable uh, seats on the boat. I don't know if their intention was to be comfortable or to get some looks, but the seating on a center console, the center console is, is designed around having everybody in the center of the boat and being fishable around the edges. Now, in recent years, they've come up with some very innovative and creative ways to make the seating more comfortable, putting a, a, a lounge uh, in front of the center console instead of just that a cooler seat with a cushion on it. Uh, they've come up with some ways to make it adjustable in the bow so you have some backrests and there's removable seating in some of the bow areas on some of the different manufacturers. Some of the older models, 10, 15 years, those really weren't an option. Your, your best option was maybe there was a snap-in cushion that could go on the, the decks of the center console and that was as good as you could get. So finding that comfortable seating, if, if that's important to you, you're going to need to be um, aware and chest out the seating that that boat has to make sure it's what you're looking for. Now, the next, this is more for used boat buyers, but saltwater used. Most center consoles are going to be used in a saltwater environment, which isn't the kiss of death, but it does mean that there's more areas for people to do the wrong things with their boat and not maintain it properly that could cause it being a headache for you. Now, more and more often you're seeing center consoles in freshwater, uh, even in the in the Midwest. I know Lake of the Ozarks has some has some really nice center consoles that are popping up around there uh, and throughout the country. But for the most part, that saltwater use equates to being more diligent in your inspection process, the inspection of the engines, the inspection of the pump, the inspection of the wiring and looking for corrosion in the electronics, anything in that helm, uh, looking for uh, issues with uh, corrosion and rust on your fuel water separator. That salt water, it just is a harsher environment for a boat to operate in. If it's well-maintained, if it's been rinsed and washed down and flushed after every use, if they took care of that boat, if it was built well with the, the proper wire connectors, uh, things being um, heat sealed on any, any connections on wires, then you're probably going to be okay. But be sure to use that toolkit, uh, which you can get at Boat Buyer's Secret Weapon, that's going to help you with a checklist to make sure that you don't forget anything. Next, pumps and live wells. Most of the center consoles are going to have some sort of live well, some sort of pump, a fresh water uh, wash down, a raw water wash down, uh, live well pumps, bait well pumps, uh, maybe a mister pump. These pumps can get corrosion. You can have issues with the, a simple 15 cent hose clamp that has come loose or is rusted and is broken. And now you've got a pump that instead of feeding the live well is filling up 
the boat <laughs> with water. Uh, so it's important to one, inspect the pumps and make sure they're working properly, but also get down into the into the inner workings of the boat as, as best you can with a flashlight and maybe a mirror, maybe even a, a scope and look to see what do those pumps look like? How well are those hose clamps um, positioned? Are they rusty? Is there any dry rotting in some of the um, the uh, plumbing of those pumps? All of those things can have a, a major negative impact when you're out on the water. As little as, oh, my pump doesn't work. My, my raw, water, raw water wash down is not working properly. Um, my live well is not working properly. To as, as major of a problem as, oh, crap. My, my compartment is filling up uh, with water because I've got a, a hose that's popped off, a hose that's cracked, and now you've got a major issue on your hand. And some of those can be difficult to repair. As you can see from the image, a lot of the, a lot of the uh, plumbing is going to be under um, the deck of the boat. And there may be some access ports. Hopefully there are access ports to get to it, uh, but it's not going to be an easy job. And it could be a, a difficult job depending on the construction of the boat. Next, we have shade. There's a couple different options when you're looking at a center console. Some of them are going to give you great shade, like the, the uh, bottom right picture. You've got a bimini top. You're going to fold that bimini top out and you've got a good amount of shade. The negative with that is if you're fishing, guess what? That bimini top is going to get in your way all day long from casting uh, to working a fish around the boat. Uh, it can be problematic. Now, the one on the bottom left, that flats boat with the, with the polling platform, you can see no shade at all. It's going to give you the best fishing access. You don't have any issues. You can get everywhere you want, but you have zero shade. Now, on some of the bigger models, um, you have a T-top. Now, the T-top is going to give you some shade. The way it's designed, it's going to shade the center of the boat so you can still work around the all the outside if you're working a fish. You can cast because it's a harder platform and it's not covering the full beam of the boat. Um, you've got some room to cast. It also gives you the opportunity for rod holders, uh, for additional storage, protect you from the elements a little bit. You can also add a sure shade. This is a, an image of a sure shade, that little uh, blue um, shade that's coming off the back. Those are a great option to add on to some of the center consoles to give you additional shade when you want it, and then it can retract when you don't want it. So if you're, if you're looking at, hey, I want to be out of the sun, I want to protect myself, the Bimini gives you the most protection, but the worst for fishing. The T-top, if it's available on the size boat that you're looking at, usually around 18, 19 feet, you'll start seeing some T-tops and, and can add those. Um, that's going to give you a little bit more shade and still good fishing. And then the no bimini, no T-top is going to give you the best all-around fishing, but zero shade. And again, those sure shades, they're a fantastic option if you want to get additional shade when you want it and then you retract it get it out of the way and you can see it just mounts right to the t-top and this one some of the manufacturers are now incorporating it into their options and they've got a slick where it's all integrated uh, and it works real well looks real nice so that's something to consider on a center console now this one kind of goes with the saltwater rusty trailers if you're coming and you're looking at a center console that's been used in salt water, the trailer inspection is even more important than if you're looking at a freshwater boat. The reason why that salt water is going to cause rust. It's going to cause issues with your brakes. It's going to cause issues with your axles. It's going to cause issues with the entire trailer. Trailers just don't last as long in salt water environments. And you could have a broken axle, um, you could have your brakes go out like this little cutout picture that I found. Um, that's going to be a major issue. You drive away on day one saying, I'll deal with the trailer later. I got a great deal on this, on this boat. Well, guess what? You may not get home. You may not have brakes that are working properly, which could put you in a dangerous situation. And then you also want to, want to put into, if you have to replace the trailer, 
understand what that's going to cost. Now, I've got a great video on trailers. We we'll go into a lot of details on trailers, how to inspect them, what to look for, cost of trailers, because trailers are, are probably more expensive than what you think. Go into all the details. Uh, there's a link down below in the description there. But don't overlook the trailer because you get so excited about the boat. And it, the trailer doesn't have to be that old um, to cause issues. The best galvanized and aluminum uh, stay away from painted trailers uh, that have been in salt water. You're almost certainly going to have some major issues there. So that's common problems with center consoles. If you want to pick up the Boat Buyer Secret Weapon Toolkit, you can get that at BoatBuyersSecretWeapon.com slash toolkit. Help you find the right boat, demo the boat right way. There's a checklist. There's questions asked dealers, private sellers. We get into a checklist for trade, for boat loans and boat insurance, and a lot more. You can get that at BoatBuyersSecretWeapon.com slash toolkit. If you found your perfect boat, you want to go to BoatBuyersSecretWeapon.com slash save. There you can find what we call called the magic money saving method. There's a, a video with more details. We'd love to have you comment, ask a question. Uh, let us know if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you found it valuable. And YouTube has also um, recommended a couple of videos here for you that you want to check out. So thank you very much. Leave a comment, share it in your social media groups if you found it valuable. If you disagreed with anything or have anything to add, put it in the comments. We'd love to hear it. And maybe we'll uh, adjust the video next time or even make a new video if there is something that uh, that we really messed up on. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you soon.